here's the crank. I, I've got one out in the car. It, have you got the crank? Yeah. Oh, I know. There's actually two cranks. Here we are. Extreme close up. Fresh in from Palm Springs. Bringing his expertise and his savoir faire to a uh, camera tech session. Trying to teach a Texas boy about a Mitchell camera. <coughs> Evidently, it must have been, uh, it could have been sent to the factory and overhauled. They do that a lot of times, and they used to put these cameras right in top shape. All the gears look beautiful. Uh, doesn't look like it has anywhere at all. It's in very, very good condition. Very good condition. And here's your buckle trip. Mm -hmm. To reset it, you have to go in and pull this off. Pull out the, uh, this pin. Pull out whatever you want. Yeah, this is uh, pulling the aperture plate out. All right. Demonstrated by the First, Dave Monroy. Loose, loosen up this threaded knob here. Pull the lower part out back, re that retracts the uh, pull-down clock. Now, cloth. first, the, uh, you put the movement in the neutral position, right? With the, uh, the witness marks on uh, the end. You don't have to at any time. You okay. can do, uh, do it any time. The first thing you do is pull that back. Get okay. it out of the way. Tighten it up. That holds it there. Now, have the two lines line up. You could do it with a threading knob on the other side. See here? Now, when the two lines line up, when the two lines line up, open the bottom they call this a bayonet lock, and then pull your aperture plate out. Okay, the, uh, the levers on the bayonet locks yeah. go, both go down to release. They, no, no, to no, release it? To release. Up. Those two Which levels. is left like a left-handed thread. Ears go up to release. And then you pull the aperture plate out. Inspect it, clean it. Now, to put it back, just reverse the procedure. Take the aperture plate out. Make sure the li two lines line up. This is still back. Tighten it up there. Now put it in the groove. There's a top groove, bottom groove. The same with this after plate. There's a groove there, and there's a groove on the bottom. They, you could hold it from here and put, slip it in the uh, groove. Slip it in the groove here. There we are. Push it all the way in. Now get your little so-called bayonet lock. They all push the after plate in. Now take your locks up and down and push down. That locks it. Then, now you can thread your film. Thread the film. But if you want to uh, put the camera away, you're not going to uh, shoot anymore. Release this knob here, and the spring tension kicks a pull down back in position. Tighten it up there, and then and that's it. Do you want to now, move it? Okay, now not this anything. is registration pins retracted when the lines are lined up. Lined up. And this is not lined up. And this is... Although they're retracted, the after plate is still not ready to come out unless you retract the... Here, let me get a... This is history. I know. I thought I'd... This is with the Linwood Dunn, original owner of the camera. Well, bought it from Technicolor. And, uh, Jake's been giving me a check out on this is a, an original Technicolor slate to go with one of the original cameramen from uh, That's from right. We could get over where he is in, what? in the sun and have your picture taken. As a matter of fact, uh, Lynn, you recognize the name on there, don't you? Oh, sure. He worked with me on West Side Story. What was his he, name? Uh, John Finger. John Finger. Yeah, he's still he's still shooting a direct photography Notice now. Notice the date, 1964 on there. John Finger was the operator on this uh, 
test that they mm -hmm. did. And what about uh, return E.M. Thayer? Is that the Thayer building? Uh, Thayer? No. Uh, that is uh, Merlin Thayer. Merlin Thayer? Yeah, he was uh, in with Technicolor in the, in the uh, technology department. Merlin Thayer. So these are some valuable uh, historic uh, In fact, Merlin, uh, Merlin Thayer, I'll think back on Merlin Thayer, I think showed me this camera the first time. Really? Yeah. I always was impressed with the name Merlin. <laughs> Merlin, I like Merlin. Yeah, King Arthur days. <laughs> Jake, stand there with the next to Universal and said, everything goes time and temperature. No more testing. <coughs> and that meant the cameraman's exposure uh, would vary. the lens off and just put a little smear a little uh, medium grease on the uh, the inside and the outside what type of uh, weight <coughs> medium medium if you put too heavy at me in the cold weather you know it may turn a little hard and you know, just a medium grease that's not too particular mm -hmm. medium grease even if you use Vaseline it wouldn't hurt but medium grease is good Lubricant. Oh, another thing is this. Uh, do you have a camera well? What in the? Oh, there it is. There it is. Now here, I'll show you about lubricant. You uh, order lubricated. See, in one in that position, put a drop in here. One drop and a drop here. And then when you put it in that position, a drop here and a drop here. And once uh, once a week, put a couple drops. See that mm -hmm. felt? There's one in the back. A couple drops. And that'll last you a week. Now, all right, we've lubricated all the light oil. The felt and the two spots there. That, that's lubricated. Now comes the, what they call cam oil. Use a heavy oil. 60, 80, 90 weight oil, mm -hmm. and that's all. But I always like to, not not the light oil, but put the heavy oil, like a 60 weight is all right, mm -hmm. regular oil. Put a drop in here, and now, they should have given you a little more room, but you see in the um, this square watch, it, when it comes right there, there's a little opening. Mm -hmm. You've got to have another oil can, and put the 60 weight, a couple drops inside here. How often it does be service? No, no, I don't think. You don't have not to worry a, for... Not this lifetime. That's right. See, because they're not running high speed. If it was high speed, then you'd have ball bearings and they're packed. No, you know, there's uh, there's no play in here. You're fine. Usually sprockets have a lot of play. That means that the uh, gear that drives this in the main shaft are worn, and you don't have any of that. So it's evidently it was serviced. It was serviced. Uh, Lynn said it was serviced by who? I forget. Somebody said it was serviced not too long ago. So that's all you need. That's in good shape. 